Kurt Cobain, the Nirvana frontman whose raw, angst-ridden lyrics made him the voice of Gen X and a seminal figure in alternative rock history, walked up the stairs of his home in the Lake Washington neighborhood of Seattle and into a greenhouse constructed over the first floor garage. Cobain entered a closet at the far end of the greenhouse, dislodged a board from the wall to reveal a cubby nobody else knew was there, and removed three items, a Remington Model 11 20-gauge shotgun, a box of shotgun shells, and a cigar box containing $50 worth of black tar heroin and a syringe. Cobain had a long history of depression brought on, or at least exacerbated by, chronic health issues and substance abuse problems, which were well documented throughout his life. But over the past few months, he had slipped into a malaise that consumed him. Courtney had left him and taken their two-year-old daughter, Frances Bean, after he couldn't or wouldn't comply with a series of ultimatums she'd given him to try to get clean. Cobain tried his best to do what they asked, and on March 30th, he flew to Los Angeles and checked himself into the Exodus Recovery Center. Two days later, however, Cobain told the facility staff he was going onto the balcony to smoke a cigarette, 